Texas is now considering legislation that would further restrict abortion in the state. Uh, now, they are drafting legislation that's similar to what you're seeing in states like Indiana, and they're also taking things even further when it comes to women who have been found to have uh, fetal abnormalities when they're pregnant. So basically, Texas Republicans have filed multiple bills for consideration in the next legislative session that would, among other restrictions, bar women from obtaining abortions due to fetal abnormalities and put into effect rules that would require the burial or cremation of fetal remains in all cases, including abortion, miscarriage, and stillbirth. Now, the second portion of that is modeled after what you see in Indiana. Indiana uh, passed similar legislation that was signed by Governor Mike Pence that would force women to bury uh, fetuses after they have an abortion. And it's this idea of making it seem as though the fetus is a person and you have to bury that person because you killed him or her, or it. If the bill becomes law, an abortion provider or any facility that provides care to women during abortion or miscarriage would be required to bury or cremate the fetus. Now there's a second portion of this that, that not only are they trying to make it seem as though the, the fetus is a person, they're also trying to add ridiculous costs to abortion providers because remember doing a, a burial or a cremation is extremely expensive if you do that for every fetus that's been aborted I mean you just don't have the resources to do that so you'll probably end up shutting down the clinic so it's this roundabout way of making sure that abortion is no longer available in the state uh, there's one other benefit that they get from it it also prevents research mm -hmm. so if you were going to do scientific research on the fetuses etc uh, no, by law you had to bury them or uh, cremate them so they are not around anymore. So, block your science, ha ha. Um, well, look, this requires civil disobedience, and and I think this is so obnoxious uh, that a lot of people will not obey this law until we have some sort of change if it's passed. So, think about it. Miscarriage. It includes miscarriage. Yep. I know so many women who have had miscarriages and it's a really traumatic thing you know why because they wanted to have the baby and they were so excited and this they were going to have a boy they were going to have a girl they didn't know they, this is their first time this is their second time they're so you have like have you do you know human beings that's that great moment when you're pregnant and you were hoping to be pregnant mm -hmm. and you got a, you know you're going to start a family and you have a miscarriage and there's a thousand reasons why you could have a miscarriage and some of them they, there's nothing inside the the egg so there's nothing to bury you don't you have no idea what you're talking about right you're going to make those poor women go through a whole ritual of burial or cremation with whatever is left over are you insane do you know how many women have miscarriages you're going to make them all do that across the state of Texas millions of women let alone the abortions and that what a painful decision that is, what a personal decision that is. So let's let's talk a little bit about this notion of small government that Republicans love to talk about all the time. And think about how incredibly intrusive a law like this would be because if you're a woman who happens to have a miscarriage, which as you perfectly mentioned is a traumatizing thing for a lot of women to go through, but it's also a very common thing that a lot of women go through. Um, how do you enforce or ensure that that woman does a proper burial for a miscarried fetus, right? Do you go to her home? Do you, do you, let's say she's pregnant and there are medical records indicating she's pregnant and then all of a sudden she doesn't have a child. Do you send cops to her home to see what happened? Do they do a, a full body examination? How do you enforce these types of laws? How do you do it? And so you're going to put those women in jail, have at it, Hoss. Now, look, I know in the beginning they might, they might want to fill up those private prisons and they'll target the most powerless in the beginning, the, not just minorities, but the poor, and there's plenty of poor folks in Texas, no matter what their race is, and they'll go after them. But at some point, you're going to imprison enough of the wrong people that, no. But really, that's a smaller part of it, because that, they're not going to be able to get away with that. Mm -hmm. What they really want to do is catch abortion clinics not following this law, and they shut them down. Shut them down, that's exactly right. That's what it's all about. So if you're a woman, that's why I say do civil diso disobedience. If you're the clinic, you don't have a choice. So they're going to make you go through this insane expense and what, you're going to force the women to do the cremation with you 
and you have to document that somehow? I thought you guys were for, again, small government. Now you're going to do what? Bureaucracy on whether you did the burial or, burial or the cremation? Witnesses, evidence that the mom was there? I mean, how grotesque is this? And all because they don't like that the Supreme Court said that it's a right, right. so they're going to try to strip you of your constitutional right by any means necessary. You want the same old mainstream media stuff? Hell no! I hear you, brother. That's why we got a whole new show on the Young Turks called Aggressive Progressive. Members get the whole show. Do it now. TYTnetwork.com slash join.